In this video, you'll see how to add social login options to your MemberPress website. With social logins, your members will be able to log into your website with their existing social media and other site account credentials, which can greatly simplify the login process for your users. They won't have to remember the username and password they created just to use on your site every time they want to log in. We've all had that experience where you create a username and password to use on a subscription service, only to totally forget what it is when you have to log in again. You might have to scrounge through emails to find it, or worse, go through the tedious forgot your password process, which can be a real headache. But with the social logins add-on, your customers can just use the social login they already know and use all the time. Making it easier for your customers to log in will increase the chances they come back to your site, which increases your opportunities to engage with and sell to your audience. Before we get started, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed in your WordPress website. So first, you need to install the social login add-on. To do that, just go to MemberPress here in the left sidebar and add-ons. Then find social login and then click to install and activate it. And then once the add-on's activated, when you refresh the page, you'll see social login added here to the MemberPress plugin. So just click on it to start setting up your logins. So the first thing you'll do is enable what providers, which are social media and other website accounts that you want to add login options for. So enabling and setting up any of these providers here will automatically add sign-in buttons for them on your login page. And they can also show up wherever you choose, which you can do with shortcodes. And we'll see how to do that later. And by the time you're watching this video, more providers may be added here. But at the time of making this, you have these four options. Now, before using social logins, your site members need to have an account already created on your MemberPress website. So your users will have had to already sign up for your website. And then there's two ways that this add-on will work for them. One is if their email used on the account on your MemberPress website is the same as the one used on their social account, like Google or Facebook, for example. In the other case is if their email used on your website does not match the one on their social account. So in the case of it not matching, the user would just have to manually connect it. And we'll see how you can let them do that later in the video. Okay, so for example, say I wanted to enable Google first. So people will be able to log in with their google.com credentials. So just click Google to enable it. And then you can see that it's currently not enabled. So just check this box to begin. And then for all these accounts, you'll see this link, view documentation. This will take you to the support documentation pages, which has a full step-by-step -step guide that walks you through how to set up Google, WordPress, Facebook, or whatever it is on your end, and how to find the ID and secret to paste here. So all you have to do is click this link and then follow those steps to set things up and get this information to paste in these fields here. So the support docs has step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots that guide you through the whole process of connecting each provider. So I'm not gonna go through the steps here to connect Google. Since if you're looking to connect a different provider, I won't make you sit through the whole video process that doesn't apply to you. But again, the support docs pages make it really easy to follow along and then get the information to paste in these fields here. So instead, I'm just gonna pause the video, go through the steps to connect my Google account, and then paste in my client ID and secret that I get from Google right here. Okay, so once I went through the steps to connect my Google account, I got the client ID and the secret and then pasted it here. And then it says it has to verify. So I'll click here to do that. And then fill out my login credentials here for Google. And once all that's done, you can see that it's verified. So now everything's linked with my Google account and the social login button has been added to my login page. And clicking back to providers, you can see here now that Google is enabled. So again, that was just a preview of how to connect Google. And every site you see here will have a slightly different process to get it working, but for each one, you just click it, then click to enable it, and then follow the step-by-step -step instructions to get it enabled. So now I'm gonna pause the video again to connect one other provider to use for this example. Okay, so now I have two connected, Google and WordPress.com. So now buttons to log in with these two options have been automatically added to my site's login page. And if you're not familiar with it, the login page is automatically created by MemberPress by default, but you can modify and change it too in the settings if you want. Now, if I open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user, so an incognito window lets you view your site like you're a brand new site visitor, not logged in at all, which is really great for testing. So once I have the page opened up, here I have my login page linked on my navigation menu. So I'll click on that. 
And here's my login page, my login form. And you can see these social login options have been added right here. So say that I'm a return user to my website. So in the case of my sample site, this test user has already been on my site before, and then they've already purchased a membership to sign up for my website. So this test user already has an account created on my site. But say that they're returning to my website, and they want to log in with their Google credentials, instead of having to remember the password and username they use to sign up. And again, for this example, say that they use the same email to sign up for my site as their Gmail. So they can just come to log in and then choose the Google option. So when they click Google, they're redirected to this page on Google to log in. So they just enter their login and their password and continue on through. And then you can see the users logged in now. Now, if this test user goes to their member account page, which I have linked up here, you can see their email and see that they're logged in to their account on my website. So they can access their content and continue using my site as it normally would. And right here on the profile page of the account page, they can see that their Google account is connected. So since they logged in once to my website, it registered their Google account and connected it automatically. So now they can log in with their Google credentials. So the add-on register their Google email as a match to the one used on my website, and then it let them log in, and then it connected their login automatically. And these connect and disconnect buttons here are automatically added to the member account page for your members. But you can also embed them manually with short codes anywhere you want on your site. And we'll see a little bit of that later in the video. So my social login feature is working. Users can now go to my login page and sign in with their Google or WordPress.com credentials. And so long as their email address for those providers matches what's on their account on my website, they can log in. But for the other scenario, if the emails do not match, they would just need to manually connect their account on my site to their social account. So to show you that, I'll pause the video and log in as a test user account that's logged in normally. So they logged in just using their username and password on my website. And let's also say that this test user's email that they signed up to my site with is different than their Google email. So they haven't yet used social login buttons to log into my site. So all they'd have to do is come into their member account page. And here on the profile page, they would just click connect to Google and then follow the steps to connect their account. And then when they finish that process, they'll be able to log into my site using their Google email and password. So after connecting to Google manually here on the account page, even though their Gmail address is different than the one that they originally signed up to my site with, they'll still be able to log into my site with it since they connected it right here. Okay, now going back to WordPress as me, the site administrator, once your user logs into your site with a social login or manually connects one in their member account page, you as the site administrator can see what social login accounts they're using on their WordPress user profile. So to show you this, I'll go to member press and members and then find the test user that logged in using Google, this one right here. And if I click on the name to go to their WordPress user profile and scroll down to the bottom, I can see here as the site administrator that this user has their social account connected. So you can keep track of what specific users are using your social logins. Okay, one more thing I want to show you is where to find some short codes that you can use to manually add social login and connect disconnect buttons to your pages and posts. If I go to member press and social login and click on a provider, again, you'll see this link here, view documentation. So this will take you to the support documentation page where you'll find some short codes that you can copy and paste onto your posts and pages that'll let you display the login with buttons or the connect to and disconnect buttons. So just click this link and find the short codes to use to copy and paste. So this short code will display the login with buttons on whatever page or post that you paste them on. And this short code will display the connect to or disconnect buttons. So just copy the one that you want to use from the support docs, like the login with short code, for example. And then all you would do is just go to your page or post. So to show you, I'll go to pages, and then click on a sample page here. And then just choose where you want it to show up. And then click on the block inserter, or you can just click this plus sign icon here, and then add a short code block, just like that. 
and then just paste the short code here. And then in this case, the login buttons would show up on this page right here. So I'll save the page. And once it's saved, I'll open it up. And here's what that looks like. So it adds the login buttons right here. And again, yours will look different depending on how your site's designed and what theme or page builder that you're using. But it'll all work the same for you. So maybe you have a custom login page that you created, or you might have a login area on a specific page of your website. So you can add the option for people to log in with your social accounts right there. And also, just one note, the social login buttons are automatically added to your MemberPress login form, which you can also embed on pages and posts too. So to show you what I'm talking about, I'll go back to edit my page, and then I'll go ahead and delete this short code, and open up the block inserter, then I'll scroll down to the member press section. And then I'll insert this block type here, login form. So this will embed my actual member press login form on this page. So I'll save the page now. And then once it's saved, when I go to view the page and scroll down, so you can see it's my actual login form with the normal username and password options, as well as my social login buttons above it. So with the two MemberPress login form block types, which are the login form like I just showed you, and scrolling down again, this one here, the ready launch login form, and the short code for the social login buttons, which we saw first, you have a lot of flexibility to choose exactly what login options that you want on your posts and pages and how you want them to show up. And the other short code that you'll find in the support docs lets you display the connect to buttons on a page or a post or disconnect if somebody's logged in and connected. Maybe you have a member dashboard page or a profile page created on your site. So you could use that short code there to give users the option to manually connect or disconnect their social accounts. Those are just a few examples, but you can use those short codes pretty much anywhere you want on your website. And that's it. You've now seen how to add social logins to your MemberPress website. See our support documentation for much more information on using social logins on your site. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.